okay so welcome to my next video on pickbox online in this uh, edition i'm going to discuss how to enter opening balances in quickbooks online across different account heads and all that but it's very important that before you start entering transaction in quickbooks you must learn how to enter the opening balances because if you don't enter the opening balances or to start entry transaction your reports may not actually give you exactly what you're expecting or what the true position of your business is so it's also assumed that there are certain transactions that you may have entered there are certain things that may have happened in the past before you set up quickbooks so at the point of bringing in these transactions into quickbooks you need to also be able to track the opening balances as at a particular conversion date and all that so the first thing we're going to look at here is how to set up our customer balances we're going to supplier balances we'll talk about the bank balances then we'll now see how the system will bring up the opening equity then if you have any outstanding um money to be paid to your tax authority probably like your tax and all that we're going to talk about how to bring in those opening balances here so the first one we're going to look at is customer balances so bring in your customer balances you go to the customer section here when you go to the customer section up here you will see new customer so you click new customer system will bring up a new window so this is where you add your new customer so as we're going to add a new customer and one of our customer it's like let's say uh, mr john sorry um mr john here so you enter mr john so you could enter every relevant details maybe like john michael so here okay. so what's the name of the company it is john limited so you just enter the name of the um customer's company john limited no no so this will ask you which name are you going to display on the system which was it john mr john michael or john limited depending on the one you want now you enter that now the opening balance you could feed all relevant details as required and all that but it's not that compulsory but some businesses that want to track details of their customer maybe like the phone numbers websites you can always do that now to now enter the opening balance of your customer you go to payment and billing when you go to payment and billing you see opening balance so this is where you enter the opening balance for this customer it has to be as a conversion date your opening balance has to be across the same date so if i'm using on 17th of september that means all the opening balance i'm going to be entering here will also be as at 17th of september so i'll come here i'll click ok so i've saved it so we could see this is john this is the opening balances and all that so when we go to the report section it's going to appear there so that's how to set up opening balance for a customer so this opening balance will form the account receivable that is the exact amount they were owing you as of when you do your setup when you are doing your setup on quickbooks that means they were yet to pay you before you did your setup so you have to bring in that balances into quickbooks now the next balance here we're talking about is your vendor balance similar process with your customer balances you go to new vendor like the first one went to new customer then you enter um james here you come here the company name to be abc limited then you display name as either james or abc limited depending then to enter the supply opening balances you see opening balances here so you come here you enter the opening like i said it has to be across the same date so you can fill all relevant details then you click save and close here so this will go to your account payable report and all that so this is the amount you are yet to pay your supplier as of when you do your setup in quickbooks then the next other one we're going to talk about here is how to enter our bank balances here so you come down to chart of account chart of account is just like the bedrock of quickbooks this is better for any accounting software because it categorizes your transaction to either income expenses asset or liability so to add your bank balances you come here you click new when you click new you now a category you select bank so what what type of uh, bank are we adding the checking account savings or whatever you select it then you come here you enter the name of the bank here first bank limited it's an instance so you come here what's the opening balances you could see that same thing across the same date here you enter the opening balances here 
you click save and close so you could add other bank that you have sometimes businesses they have several bank balances this is it here and you can view your register here so that's how to add your bank balances now to add our equity now there's something quickbook does as you're adding all the asset balances all the liability balances the difference between your asset and liability balances is what we call your equity and all that that's what the system bring in as equity because ordinarily you should have what we call a balance sheet or probably like a statement of financial position when you were bringing the balances into quickbooks so the idea is that by the time you finish entering the balances into quickbooks what you have in quickbooks should equate to what you have in your statement of financial position which is your balance sheet so as you're entering your liability you're entering your asset system is matching the two together so that's why we have what we call the opening balance equity so ordinarily the opening balance equity should be able to calculate itself as you're bringing in your assets you're bringing in the liability and all that so sometimes you may not necessarily need to bring in the opening equity because the system does the calculation itself but if you want to bring in the opening equity maybe you have other equity you want to track and all that then you come here you click new a category you come down you select equity here so you could see this is where we have the equity then you come here you select opening balance equity so that's opening balance equity here so you could call it a name maybe like additional capital or whatsoever you want to call it then you give it um you enter the actual balances like i said it has to be at the same date so here we could see here that as you enter opening balances quickbooks online record the amount in opening equity this ensures that you have a correct balance balance sheet for your company even before you finish entering all your company's assets and liability you see exactly what i said as you're entering your assets you're entering your liability quickbook will be calculating the uh, opening balance equity which is your asset minus your liability so whatever is the difference between the asset and liability gives you your opening balance equity and all that so you can also use this section here to bring in additional capital which is owner's equity you can see here if there's owner's equity if there's paid in capital or surplus partners contribution partners distribution partners equity retain any suit transfer stock so everything that relates to your equity these are the category you use to bring everything into the system and all that so that's this how to enter your opening balance equity like i said system does the calculation itself now if you have it's a, a, a tax outstanding oh i'm going to pay my tax and i want to bring it in how do i enter that you still come down to your chart of account you click new then you select the category to enter it in. it should be a, a current liability other current liability you come and you select other current liability here so here you come here you can see the payroll tax pay, payables expenses and all that so you come you select whatever tax you want to enter so if you click other liability then you call it a sales tax so this is like sales tax payable that means the amount you're supposed to remit to your tax authority as of when you're doing your setup in quickbooks you come and you click save and close here so as i said it has to be on the same date so if you're also bringing in your asset balances too you come here you go to category you select your fixed assets so you come here you select the kind of assets you want to add if you're adding your furniture and fitting here then here you enter the asset balances if you track the position of that asset you click the position of this asset here so you need to enter the original cost of that asset and the position as a particular date here so you enter twenty thousand. the date has to be when on the 17th like i said here so here could be two thousand then you come here same as at 17 still here then you click save and close here so we need to enter our furniture and fittings as an asset and all that so you see here this is the original cost this is the accumulated depreciation of that particular asset here so if you, once you are entering your opening balances you just go to your chart of accounts to enter your opening balances for your assets the abilities and all that so if you're able to group whether the account head is an asset the ability then you go to chart of accounts select the category that best describe that particular account head then enter the opening balances there then if you're setting up your opening balance for customer you enter it. so total of everything you've entered under the customer gives you your account receivable 
why for vendors it gives you your account payable so if you have any questions you can drop your comments you can subscribe to our youtube channel and we're going to answer your question by sending the video to you thank you